Okay, so part three, um, the long report. <laughs> uh, okay, can you see my screen? Yes, sir. Excellent. All right. Um, so the long report is uh, the big, you'll notice it's uh, 50%. Uh, which since we aren't counting attendance, will come up to be more like 53 or 4%, something like that. I don't know. I, math is not my area. Um, so it's a big part of your grade. Uh, first of all, topic. Your topic should be something you know about, typically something in your major. Absolutely not some bullshit 101 retread. Uh, we need to have gun control or uh, some are not, or more abortions or fewer. Uh, not that stuff. Uh, that's been done to death for the last 15 years. And uh, you have nothing to say on that that's new. You're just rehashing uh, the same old arguments. Uh, my favorite long report of recent years uh, it's this old boy, he was both majoring in agriculture and he was working on his father's farm. And so he wrote his long report to dear old dad, uh, telling him why he needed this souped up uh, utility truck for the farm. And it was awesome. Uh, you know, uh, this is what the truck is, I know everything about the truck. Here's what it'll do for us. Here's how it'll help us on the farm. Uh, here's how it will pay for itself. Here's how much it costs. Uh, here's how long it will take to, in, you know, amortize it and pay for itself. And uh, it just, a, it was just a jewel of a long report um, uh, because it's to a specific audience and he had a very specific proposal by this truck, right? And um, he knew his audience and he knew his subject. Uh, so that's the best possible long report of topic. Uh, do you see the difference? Something you know versus something you don't. Um, now, starting with the proposal, let's just talk about it today. Leave the sentence outline in the final long report alone. You only want to do one of these. And then when you get that back, you start on thinking about the next one. So um, here is the basic format for the uh, proposal, but I have a sample proposal. Uh, follow this if it's different from the other one, because this is a real paper that I've chewed over. Um, so single space where it single spaces, tab where it tabs, bold where it bolds, uh, block indent where it block indents, and um, yeah. Uh, and again, I don't want to go over all the details. What I do want, I want three things, the proposal itself, a bibliography, and I recommend you use easybib.com. It's gotten a little more difficult, but it's still pretty straightforward for generating uh, bibliographies. Um, and then I want you to fill out the audience profile sheet and upload that. You'll have to fill it out, print it with the information in there. If you just upload the sheet I have here, uh, it won't have the information. If you just uh, save the sheet after you fill it in, it saves without filling it in. So you have to print it to a PDF. Uh, so it's a PDF that you then print to a PDF again. Uh, now all three parts, the bibliography, the audience analysis, and the memo, all three parts are part of your grade. So if you, oops, I forgot the audience analysis. Well, sorry, uh, you lose points on audience analysis because you didn't do it. Uh, oops, I forgot to put 15 sources in a bibliography. I forgot to format it in any kind of recognizable form. Um, 
then you're going to lose points on the bibliography. And yes, we have had students forget to put the memo in. <laughs> so be sure to one, two, three parts. So let's do of all these. Sentence outline one, two, three, four. Uh, the only one uh, that's uh, more concise is the final long report. Uh, you just put your long report in the audience analysis. I used to take up all this stuff, but I already have it. It's in your folder. So if I want to look back at something, I have it. So you don't need to re-upload your proposal when it comes time to write the long report. Uh, so mostly today we want to think about the proposal. Do y'all have any questions? I do want to emphasize on audience analysis, this person needs to be a real person and they need to be somebody who would read a technical report. So if you're writing something about schools, do not write to parents. Why? They're not the ones that are going to be interested in it. They don't read technical reports about education. You send them something else. So this can be to a teacher. It can be to a principal. It can be to the school board. It can be to the superintendent. Those sorts of people uh, can read a technical report on education and they do read, or at least they're supposed to. They receive technical reports about education, whether they read them or not, uh, you know, one of those mysteries of life. And that's why, you know, long reports have so many parts where you give the basic argument because uh, people will only read that abstract. All right, any more um, proposal? questions. Uh, make sure that your list of recommendations, we want that list. Uh, let's look at the, so this was to Bill Archer. Um, convince America flat tax the right decision. He was a representative. Um, about the time you were being born, maybe. <laughs> it's been a while. Um, change tax system to a flat tax. So um, he, had, he, he can do all of these as a representative. Uh, he can go and get on TV. Uh, he can write a law uh, to change the tax system. So he needs to write, well, no, he writes a bill. And then if you've watched the I'm a bill video, uh, it can possibly become law, um, although it never did, and then set a rate, which is part of the bill. Um, but you figure out what can these people do that I'm writing to? What do what does a congressperson do? Uh, they write bills, they hold hearings, they go out and publicize what they're doing. Uh, those are you know, anytime you're writing a senator or representatives, those are the things you can do as a senator or a representative. Uh, so you'll talk about that in terms of your specific project. All right, any more questions about that? And again, these four or three things, the memo, PDF, the bibliography, PDF, the audience analysis PDF. I have a PDF uh, program I use for grading. And I can just type in and your format stays fixed. If you turn in a docx, um, I'm trying to figure out how to make comments, but I'm not real happy with the word commenting system. And also uh, that the computer that's not working. I had to buy uh, Windows, uh, Microsoft uh, Word 2019 uh, to replace my dear departed uh, 2010 Word. I still have no idea how that Word works. It does all the same stuff, but it's all a little different. Little you know, new boxes to master. So uh, it'll be easier for me to grade this in PDF form and you don't have to worry about me accidentally messing up your formatting, trying to put in my notes. 
Hi, any more questions about that? All right, we're moving on. Uh, so, uh, what's your 